this week on Rams 360. Robert Woods, middle of the field, and tripped up in Seattle territory. Robert Woods is feasting. 12 receptions, over 150 receiving. When I moved to safety, I realized I was a defensive player all along. It's picked off at the 35. Nick Scott takes it away, and the Rams will go home with their fourth win of the season. All this and more on Rams 360. Sunny, clear skies as we prepare for Thursday Night Football. It's week five, and a matchup in the NFC West between the Los Angeles Rams at 3-1 and one, and the Seattle Seahawks at 2-2. Two and two. Let me talk a lot. Look, that's the world. This feels like a pivotal game. You can effectively cut the NFC West in half and put yourself in the top tier with the team that just beat you at SoFi Stadium if you're the Rams and you win go. here tonight. Let's start this Let's off. Go. Let's go. Yes, sir. Love it. We love it. We love it. We love it. Yes, sir. Let's go, baby. Be a monster, bro. Be a monster. Ball player, ball player. God damn. Seven seconds left in the corner. Right footed kicker. Pulls it left and no good. That was left all the way, and the score remains 7 3 going to the break. We missed it. We missed it. Yes. Show ball, five. Yes. Show ball, five. the 30 yard line third down full change from there 20 snap into the lap of Stafford he steps up he's hit as he throws deep down the right side looking for Jackson adjusts to the football and makes the catch at the 40 oh! running into Seahawks territory across the field left side the 20 and out of bounds at the 11 yard line big play who cares how it looks you flip field position you have the chance to score Stafford under center second down and three he opens up he gives right Henderson cuts middle lowers his pads and piles into the end zone Touchdown, Daryl Henderson. Touchdown, LA. Every time you touch it, we score. Let's go. A 96 yard statement drive for the lead with 7.56 to go in the third. 9 7 LA. Let's go. Let's go. Yeah. Let's go, Rob. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. That was a 96 yard drive. A 96 yard drive. Hey, that's an awesome job. 96 yards. Demoralizes to the end. 96 yards. That's where to go up front. Go up, work. Play fast. Play fast. <laughs> Seattle drive. Backed up at their own two in the fourth quarter, trailing two scores. Geno Smith comes on and leads a 98-yard touchdown drive, completing all five of his passes, including a 23-yarder to DK Metcalf. Play the time. Let's go. Let's go. All right, so the Rams have the ball in a two-point lead. Here comes Matthew Stafford. All right, let's warm up that diesel again one more time. Make some plays, take the energy out of this crowd. First and 10 LA from their 27. Ball's on the right match. Fourth quarter, nine minutes and change to go. Thursday night football, NFC West. Stafford from under center. 
pressure in his face. He steps up, he deals, completes the 40. Robert Woods, middle of the field, and tripped up in Seattle territory. Robert Woods is feasting. 14 targets, 12 receptions, over 150 receiving. Woo! Woo! Go! Go! Alone in the shotgun, Stafford already has another snap. Against a four-man rush, he's going top shelf, down the middle, complete to a sliding Cooper Cup at the 15. Hell yeah, Coop! Hell yeah, Coop! 6.48 rolling on the fourth quarter clock. Rams looking to extend the two-point lead on the road in Seattle. Stafford has a waist-high snap against a five-man rush. He stands in and deals, complete to the two, Cooper Cup. <laughs> oh my god! Yes. 11 personnel here, taking the tight end attached right. Shotgun snap, inside gives. Sony Michelle cuts to his right and goes in untouched. Touchdown! Yeah! Sony Michelle extends the Rams' lead to 22-14. Hey, that's how you doing, baby? Feel it on him. Feel it on him. Go, free go, Matt! That's a pro's pro right there. Keep backing them up, make them put it in the air. Force them to throw it down. Here we go, man. So yes, a long field in front of Geno Smith. 84 yards to cover. A touchdown would tie it, an extra point would conceivably win it. Hey, trust it, let's go! Two minutes, nine seconds left in Thursday night football. Empty shotgun look here for Smith. He's got his left foot forward in his action green uniform. Calling for the snap, Rams send four, back to pass, flooded from the pocket, rolling right, he throws! It's picked off at the 35! <laughs> Nick Scott takes it away, and the Rams will go home with their fourth win of the season. Hey, let's go! Let's go! Let's go! On the first play of the potential, Game-winning drive for Geno Smith. He rolls to his right and throws an interception into the waiting hands of Nick Scott. And that will do it at Lumen Field in Seattle on Thursday Night Football in Week 5. Coming up next on Rams 360. One thing to, to keep in mind and always remember is that you're doing what you love and you should enjoy it while you have the opportunity. My love for football started in the backyard, really, I guess you could say. My dad used to play a game with us. He calls it, how much do you want it? My three brothers and I would probably stand about 30, 40 yards away, and he would just throw a ball up in the air as high as he could, and then while I was in the air, he would yell, how much do you want it? And we had to try to catch it. I would say fun. Training camp is fun. It can be tough at times. It requires a lot of focus to move up on the depth chart, to make the depth chart. So it's a lot of fun. Uh, check, check. Starting nine. Penny, penny. Nickel, nickel. Dime, dime. Good talk, Jordan. Hey, good talk, D-Lo. About 8, 8 a.m. meetings kick off. Then you go lift, as soon as you lift, go right back to meetings. Then we go to our walkthrough, so everything that you learned in the meetings, take in information and then apply it immediately. No, it's red, it's red, it's red, take it off. It's red, take it off. You're on the field by 3.30 p.m. Individual drills, team drills, special teams work. Putting your body through a lot. And then you're back in meetings till probably nine, 9.30, and then typically after that, that's your free time from 10 to, I guess, curfew. You have to be in your room. Um, so, but usually that, that free time is taken up by sleep, and then you go repeat it again. That's me. Y'all are fine, that's me. Do it again. Yeah, exactly, right? We gotta be 
firm on that guy. Yeah. Right? You know what I'm saying? Yeah. We were stacked behind him. It keeps coming. It's going to be way too close. Yeah, I got, got you. Me. Let's go from the huddle. Here we go. Come on, come on. Here we go. Base left, base left. Ready? Back in Penn State, I was playing running back. In short, we had two five stars who were doing pretty well for themselves coming. That was uh, Saquon Barkley and Miles Sanders. Breaking free! Saquon Barkley! For the edge, diving into the... It's just the way it worked out. I tell people all the time there's 26 reasons why I moved to safety. Um, so Saquon Barkley came in the room. Um, and, and it's worked out for me so far. I was not so much in the mix anymore. I, I met, decided to make a business decision and switch over to safety. But where I found most of my production and my ability to get on the field was special teams. And it is blocked! In trouble trying to get out of there. And he can't. And back by Nick Scott. Not that time, but the ball's loose! And it's picked up! Nick Scott with a scoop and score! Base right, base right, ready. Here we go. Punter ready! Let's go. Oh my. Do it again. That's all right. That's okay. Here we go. Come on back. Damn. You know, as a kid with a lot of pride who wasn't necessarily on the field where he wanted to be, you know, special teams was a place for me to have an opportunity to be on the field. But when I moved to safety, I realized I was a defensive player all along. I'm a big believer in never settle for it. Kind of reflecting back to that, that little story of how much do you want it, it is a great way to think about camp. You know, one thing to, to keep in mind and always remember is that you're doing what you love and you should enjoy it while you have the opportunity. Safety is something that I've grown to love, and you can want something really, really bad, but you have to not only think about how hard you have to work and how much it's gonna take to get that ball, but also there's gonna be people right next to you who want it just as bad, may want it even a little bit more, may be working a little bit harder to get it. How much do you want it? professional athlete, you feel like you're an inspiration to a lot of people, but you're looking for inspiration yourself. And for me, it's these kids have really been inspiring. You are watching Rams 360. A local story that went viral about a boy named Andrew McDonough fighting childhood cancer kind of took our community by storm you know unfortunately Andrew lost his fight um, but he was an inspiration to so many people for how long he fought the Andrew McDonough Be Positive Foundation started by Andrew's family and uh, you know we were just able to do a lot when I got to University of Delaware it just expanded even more and um, our football team uh, got what we call a, a Be Positive Hero and that was Danny Feltwell, and uh, you know, that's how my relationship with Danny got started. Hey, what's up, dude? Not much, how are you? I'm good. That's a cool jersey you got behind you. Oh yeah, that's yours. <laughs> I always felt stressed. I always felt like, am I gonna get better? How is this gonna turn up? Like. I didn't know where my next step was going to be. And whenever I got to see see the guys and Troy, it just made me happy. Danny is an unbelievable kid. He was around our football program all the time. Just got to start building that relationship with uh, a little brother and a friend. You know, medical expenses can be tough. I know getting medicine can even be tough. Really, if you just need help, that foundation, which in this case is Be Positive, um, 
can really help you through that. What I've seen in his fight is, um, you know, not just the financial, not just the donations and different stuff like that that are huge, but, you know, just being there. The reason why social work is coupled with oncology or cancer clinics is because we know that the diagnosis not only impacts the patient, it also impacts the friends, the neighbors, and most certainly the families of anybody diagnosed with cancer. Our entire intention every day when we come into work is how can we best support this patient? How can we best care for this patient? And we know that this is very difficult on people. It's very difficult for the human experience. So why not provide people who not only will support you, but have also been through this in some capacity and know exactly how to guide you? This is a fight that just, it can wear you out. Um, you get tired, uh, the families get tired. So, you know, I think just being there, um, that kind of support is huge. Great game yesterday. Thank you. Thanks. Right, yeah, were you watching? Uh, yeah, that was from Austin Anderson. <laughs> Thanks, buddy. You know, as a professional athlete, you feel like you're an inspiration to a lot of people, but you're looking for inspiration yourself. and. And for me, it's these kids have really been inspiring. As long as you know, people continue to have this type of platform, you know, we can kind of spread his story uh, to as many people as possible. I always have this saying, I believe in you. So no matter how hard you do, keep fighting. No matter if you're playing basketball or even, even fighting cancer, never give up. Coming up next on Rams 360. Daryl Henderson, watch this here. Boom, big hit. Yow. No soup for you. Robert Woods down the middle, bang. DeMarco Farr here with the All-22 presented by Microsoft Surface. Going to take a look back at Robert Woods' big day in Seattle in week five. Seattle trying to get back in the game. Watch these linebackers mug this A-gap here. So what does Matthew Stafford do? He says, hey, look, let me get my running back involved in here. Check out this angle right here. I love this. Let me get my running back involved and slide him up. Protect that A-gap. Now watch that communication between all five guys. Bang, gets it all picked up. Stafford scrambles out. Robert Woods wide open again. Now check out this route. I love this by Robert. This is Woods over here coming in motion. That's Cooper Cup. That's Woods, watch this route down the field. Gets the check from Matthew Stafford. We're all on the same page. Straight down the field. Great pickup by Daryl Henderson. Watch this here. Boom, big hit. Yow! No soup for you. Robert Woods down the middle, bang. Move to the next play. First and 10. All right, Seattle says they just picked it up. We're gonna go all zone here. Now watch this. Everybody's in zone coverage here. Watch this. Expose that front four. Let's see if they have a pass rusher. Ball is snapped. No one gets home. Again, all the time in the world. Look at that. He can stand back there all day. Look at that pocket. Beautiful. Another strike to Robert Woods coming on the end cut. Just around the linebacker to the outside. Cuts in right on the hash. Boom, just like stealing. Absolutely. Pick it up, spin it, talk to your kid. That is awesome. Watch this protection here. I love this. This is dope. Bang. Nothing. Absolutely nothing. Stalemates. Great throw by Matthew Stafford. Bang. Great catch by Robert Woods. All right. That's the All-22 presented by Microsoft Surface. I'm DeMarco Farr. See you next week. Coach Judge does an excellent job. This is a really competitive football team. It's going to be a great challenge. You see that show up on the film, and uh, we got to be ready to go. Stay tuned for more Rams 360.
is a really good football team, Claudia. I think there's a lot of guys that we do expect back from injury. Coach Judge does an excellent job. This is a really competitive football team. I think they're doing a really nice job schematically in all three phases. They've got good personnel. You can start to see a, guys, a lot of guys are making plays for them offensively. I think Daniel Jones is playing at a really high level. He's got playmakers that he can get involved. Defensively, they've got a plethora of different things that they throw at you with Coach Graham. You know, and then with Coach McGahee and Coach Judge, you know, they do an excellent job uh, putting a lot of pressure on you in the kicking game. And so it's going to be a great challenge. You see that show up on the film, and uh, we got to be ready to go. We know like their their best guys and stuff like that, uh, and guys that may like replace them that are also like very very talented. I mean, Kadarius Tony just went crazy this past week. So uh, I mean, they have talented players, but um, every week we also focus on us and how we can get better. Just want to get better every week. I approach every game like the same. So uh, the same preparation routine. I don't, I don't really want to get out of my routine, but uh, I mean, this weekend was good. Like getting away from the game and uh, getting around people you care about. And, you know, just spend a little extra time with them, you know, you feel refreshed coming into work and all that. So maybe that's that's an edge right there. You can't be satisfied with that. You gotta keep working and come out like each and every day, wanting to be better, so I'm not gonna settle for that. And it's hard to stop either one of those when we fresh, so like the main plan is to keep one like keep everybody fresh and when we fresh like we don't show everybody what we capable of doing. Now we just gotta be consistent and be able to bring it every week. Yeah, I mean, I understand, you know, it's it's difficult sometimes to figure out who's going to be playing, who's not. Um, you know, this is a this is a game about players. There's no question about that. But um, at this point in the week, you know, you're just trying to kind of get comfortable with their scheme and what you think you might see, all those kind of things. And, and you know, knowing who's going to be out there, that's definitely a big part of it. But uh, tough to say at this time, at this time of the week. So, uh, you know, we just go out there, try to have crisp days ourselves, work on what we're supposed to be working on and let those days translate into game day. Thanks for watching and be sure to tune in next week for more Rams 360.